is considering the potential impact to your organization or again, the client organization, since you're an individual operator, what pricing model would um, you find most appealing to the kind of training we've talked about? That is uh, one-time payment, monthly, semi-annually, subscription. What model would sort of make the most sense to you if you were still running your small company or, or in the context of working for uh, larger organizations? Well, based on my experience, I, I usually think one-time payments are, are good for people. I'm nice. not a big fan of the of the payment plan. Uh, I know if you're doing more general stuff, you know, like Amy Porterfield teaching you how to do a, you know, an online class or something like that. Well, okay. Well, there's people wanting to get into that. They can't afford Amy Porterfield's prices, so they break it down into $500 payment. I don't know what her courses go for now. But I think they're around $3,000 for, you know, some mm -hmm. of these things. So, so, you know, not not a lot of people can just sit down and, and uh, you know, slap that on their credit card. So, so a payment plan for something like that, if you're doing, you know, one hour trainings and, you know, or even, you know, for, 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 a, for a client, like a water utility, like I do, you know, they're going to be a little cheap. So, but, but I think, you know, charging them, you know, 695 for, for, uh, you know, a couple day course, you know, or, or an online conference, you know, a one-time thing actually works fine. Yeah. If you're getting into these big ticket things that are that are for people trying to get into business and stuff like that, then I think that that the payment plan works for works for them. But for my clients, I think they just want to want to do the the one time payment. Now, mm -hmm. I will do if you're doing a mastermind, something like that. Um, that that I may think is an exception that meets on a monthly basis. Then I would charge by the month for that. But I would make it a twelve month commitment. So we you you get charged by the month or give people a discount if they want to pay for the whole thing up front. You know, you could knock a month off, whatever, but but uh, you know, twelve month commitment, pay by the month or you know, twelve month commitment and you pay for it all mm -hmm. up front with it with a little bit of a discount for for paying up front. And that's mm -hmm. that's kind of the pricing model I'd look at for for a mastermind. But I'm not a fan. Of, you know, I've also heard that that some people do quarterly payments, and those those don't work well at all. So, either an annual with a discount or, or monthly, if you're doing a payment plan, is what seems to work best. Any any other type of payment, you know, it it does not seem to work. I've 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 you know heard from folks so. But mostly gotcha. in my business, one-time payment, it, with the exception of the mastermind, I, I guess is kind of how I go. Yeah, it's interesting too, because that was the answers that are overlapping, you know, as an empiricist, when I'm talking about, I can either imagine what people need and want or think they, they is best, or I can just ask them. It's still empiricism. And it's right on the money again with my previous, uh, my previous interviewee. And that was one time it was like, oh. I was actually surprised, but she's going, look, as a leader, when the money isn't a question because you're paying through an organization's resources, I just want to know what is the cost and what do you deliver? And I also found it really insightful that you talked about how quarterly basically sucks. That doesn't work for people. And again, that makes sense. You're saying, I'll charge you monthly, but you got to commit to a year or pay all at once. Totally got you there. So I have to go because I have three minutes to take a bathroom break <laughs> between now <laughs> and my next interview. So it was really great to, I feel like I'm catching up because we actually do know each other. Sure. And um, yep. I'll share it out there. While, yeah. I'll share it with you. It has, it's probably been over a year. So take care. Yep. Thank you so much. I will ping you with the interview when it's released, which will probably be soon-ish, but I'm not going to commit to a date. I can't promise yet. Sure. Got it. Okay. Got it. Thanks very much, Tom. Okay.